Hey, orange one here. So we got a bit of an interesting situation here. If uh, I'm just gonna drive the, the car for a second. Um, sorry. There we go. And um, I was I was trying to go up to one of the bunkers, right? And I got kind of close, and then I saw this. We got some black ops zombies. We got some 50 millimeter turrets. It looks to me like the zombies might be fighting the turrets, but I'm not sure. So what we could to do here is we could get kind of close. We're going to make sure they don't have a visual on us. So let's just kind of stop the car for a second. Uh, let's uh, close that up for a, a little bit, and then we'll just drive along the road until we're pretty close. And then we'll try and get like a grenade or something out of the side here. Yeah, I think we're we're pretty much yeah, like let's let's have a look see. It looks like the turrets and the zombies are kind of fighting each other, yeah. Okay. Um let's get like right up close. And then I'm going to toss some grenades out, basically. Uh, what, what do I have grenade-wise in here? Oh, that's kind of cool. It goes all quiet for me if I'm over here. Got some EMP grenades. Uh, incendiary... Oh, got grenade hacks. Why don't, we, uh, why don't we try one of those out? I'm going to try and get this uh, grenade hack out here somewhere. Can I close that and then activate grenade hack? And then where where is where is it? Is it already ears ringing? So what did it do? Um it looks like it took out both the turrets. I we didn't see it happen, unfortunately. Sorry. But it was very effective, it looks like. Whatever it did. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> well, that probably made a pretty loud sound, seeing how it deafened us. Hello, Black Ops zombie. Are you just going to bleed out there? Do I need to even shoot you? Uh, I'll, I'll shoot you. There we go. He's done. Okay, now, these guys, I want to check them for CVMs. Yeah. Go ahead and just carry them in the vehicle. It'll just make our lives a little bit easier for this dissection. Can I tell you... Oh, I'm deaf. Right, okay. Well, hopefully he doesn't come over here to bash this. No, he's going to stay in his seat. Good. Good boy. Okay, let's try and do a dissection on this guy. Uh, no. Ignore. Oh, okay, we got something outside, but it's it's not like continuing to smash, it just smashed it, it looks like. Oh, maybe I should. Yeah, it's just a swimmer zombie. Honestly, it probably could have, uh, keep on smashing things up. Sorry. <laughs> that was loud. I guess we got a hearing back. Okay, he didn't. He didn't actually um, bolt it fully. He. It looks like he started. Um, hold on, Harvey. Uh, miscellaneous rules. Leave them alone. Okay, so now he should be. You'll leave them intact, good. Okay. So it looks like he wasn't really harassing the other one anyways. I was just being maybe a little overly cautious. Okay, there we go. Maybe I should just take a second. Make sure we're, we're, we're secure. Oh yeah, also check this out. I, I forgot to mention I took a little mutagen before this episode. Um, we've got some, uh, interesting little mutations here, but we got some really good ones. Um, as you can see in our health bar, our health bar looks a little bit different. I don't know if we had that as well. I think we did already. 
But we got like lightly furred, which is gonna be great. Uh, let's see. What else have we got? I think Parasite Immune is new, which is great, because then we can just like drink regular water without having to clean it. Um, I think. I mean, we're not, um, and we're not completely immune to everything, but we are Parasite Immune and resistant to poison, at least. All right, so I mean, we might throw up from drinking bad water, but it's not going to, like, give us, like, a Parasite, which is the worst part. <laughs> Let's be real. And then we also got some pretty bad traits as well. <laughs> But none of them that's like completely breaking things, I and mean, that snout is the one that... That and radiogenic are the ones I'm really concerned about, but we're okay. Okay, broken grenade hack. Did it not actually... I think it exploded, but whatever. Yeah, there's that turret. Can I just see what else is around us? A lot of the MREs and that, that zombie right there. Yeah, it looks like they dropped most of the food here. It's weird because the military zombies seem to be one of the best sources of food, in my opinion. You know? Let's drop them. And if the game will let me do this dissection without being disturbed, then I'll do it. Yeah, I know that we should get some sleep, but I kind of want to get this done and see what we get first. Only damaged organs. Really? I thought that these, these guys had CBMs in them. Whatever. Maybe they changed it. Um, let's just take him. I just don't like the idea of us sitting around in the same area for too long because I might be irradiating it. Hold on. Let's... What is that that's right in front of me, actually? What is this thing? I'm curious. A plutonium generator. Okay, so... Can I get that in my vehicle? If I could, I would like to get that in my vehicle. I mean, it might irradiate us. <laughs> A little bit but I'm just saying where's my toolkit uh, where is it toolbox there we go um, what is this that's like I'm next to I mean, it says plutonium generator and then sandbag wall. I can't interact with it at all. What's the, uh... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that we can do to it. What about if I go to the blah, 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 blah. If you guys see this, uh, I mean, this location is not going to go anywhere, so I can always come back if I can't do anything right now. Um, what's the one for, yeah. Deconstruct furniture. <gasps> okay. Well. Gain dehydrated. Um, ignore. Okay, it's disassembled. I got some plutonium from it. Is that it, really? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, do I have my Geiger counter? I'm just curious. Oh, my radiation level is actually very nice. Very cool. Okay, well, I guess uh, now that we got our plutonium, we can kind of roll out of here. Oh, we should probably drink some water. Do I have water right now that I can just drink? Oh, inedible plant stuff. Gross. <laughs> um, it's weird how I can stuff oatmeal, though. Like, raw. Only raw. 
And honey? I can have honey. Okay. Uh, let's have some of those cracklings. I That's going to go off, it looks like. Yeah, fill ourselves up a little bit. Any water? Do I have water here? I have a water purifier. But like I said, I could just drink water, you know? <laughs> it's just... I mean, we. I think we can make it so easily. Let's just make ourselves some water. And then where is that water? Yep, let's just down it. No, it looks like we're full. Okay. Um, i move up the road a little bit, and then maybe... Because, like, the thing is, is that there's probably going to be some, some other people that come over into the area and check it out. I want to go down there. I am also a little bit curious about what's at the end of this road. So maybe we could go over there a little ways. Oh, there's a pocket here. Where are they? Oh, there's two of them. Sweet. If we could get them, we could make some uh, more cattle mutagen. I'm going to go for it. It's pretty rare that you see two pocket deer like that so easily. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to get them, though. I think we're going to have to get the adrenaline going. Uh, let's see. Where's... where's uh, adrenaline pump. Sure. My wielding. My gun. Oh. <laughs> we still have that guy. It's funny. Oh, where did they go? No, you don't. Okay, cool. We got the two pocket deer. Fantastic. Anything else in the area? No. Okay, before we uh, get those pocket deer, let's, uh, let's maybe see if we can um, get a CBM. Because I think we can be able to install the CBMs at the place that we're going to pretty soon. That's fine if the adrenaline wears off. I'm just glad that we got those kills. Um... Only damaged organs. Shame. Real shame. Uh, these guys, I think... I want to just... Because um, I think they get they drop the large stomachs, I'm pretty sure. Yep, large stomach. That's what I want. Perfect. And then this other one, and we'll be able to make more of that mutagen. I really, it's kind of weird, but I do enjoy this part of the game of, like, hunting down mutagen ingredients. There's something about that for me. I think we want the lever as well, because we can, like, make, like, beast mutagen from that or something. I, I've forgotten the exact one, but there's one mutagen that's pretty nice. Uh, let's also reload our gun. Just good, good idea in general. Um, and then we can put that away. Where is it? Uh, cattle mutagen. Yep, that's what I want. <laughs> Into the hip flask. And hey, we can even make some cow serum. Is that on my person? Am I carrying that? I think I am. I think that we might be carrying some stuff. Um, that place, we could drop some stuff in. Plutonium. Oh yeah, let's drop those all down. Sure. I don't know about the tainted bone though. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, there we go. Um, so we got that mutagen made, that's nice. And I feel like we should just move a little bit. You know, unfortunately the CBM, that didn't work out, but at least the mutagen kind of worked out a little bit. Oh, there's... Wait, where's the other pocket deer? There's another one? Really? I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find another stomach. But... If RNG wants to give this to me, then I, I will... I will take what I can get. There we go. Okay. Um, 
Let's see. Still dress. Cool. And then I think we could also, I mean, I'm just curious. I don't think that they give me the right thing, but they might give me a pelt. I think it's going to be a hide. Yeah, it's a hide. That's a shame. I don't want that. <laughs> now I kind of want a beast mutant though, because it's not like the hardest to craft. It seems pretty easy to craft. Just like hunt things and take their, I think it's livers and, and bones. I'm, I'm almost positive. I, I still do, do have that stomach on me, so if I can find an animal, that'd be great. I'm just going to go up here a little bit. Oh, it's a hotel. Um, yeah, it looks like we should probably head over south to that one place. There was a Labrador mutt, which I think gives you... Uh, one of the ingredients that we need for one of the other mutagens that we have. Sorry, hold on, I gotta go. Just give me a second again. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Where were we? We were going... Yeah, we were just kind of exploring, right? There's also this barn, and there's a Triffid Grove there. A couple other things. Maybe we should just... While we're up here, let's just kind of check out this area. There's a Triffid Queen. So they're going to be spawning, if you can't see them on the mini-map, they're spawning in a ton of plants right there. Yeah, Triffids you don't want to mess with. I'm just kind of also curious to see if we can find something that will give us a stomach. A large stomach, I, sh I should say. I think how we got that other one. But it does not look like that's going to be the case. We're going to just be surrounded by Triffids here. Okay, good to know. Um... Griffins and ants and all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> oh man, it's getting interesting in here. I think we're gonna want to get just head back. <clears throat> maybe, yeah, maybe we'll drive through this territory. Man, there's a ton of triffids. We could, if I was an herbivore, I could eat a lot of that. Like, we could just, like, kill a bunch of them and make a ton of food. It's a nice way of getting food if you're one of the plant eaters, is if you find a nice little triffid growth. <laughs> it's basically the same as being a carnivore, but it gives you plant matter stuff. It's kind of silly. But if you wanted to, like, kind of, like, game around that restriction of diet, because it's so much easier being a carnivore and just, like, finding some animal or whatever in the woods and then you get like a hundred meat or something. It's crazy, like if you get like a deer and you preserve the meat, man, you'll be fine. There's an elephant bear. That would give us the large stomach. But there's also an ant a queen right there. We should probably take that out first. Where's the queen? 42 North. Yeah, you're going down, Queen. I'm sorry. No. Not gonna happen. Where's the elephant bear? 25 away, but we don't have a clear... Oh, we actually, we do. We have a shot. Okay. They were like... Oh, they're coming towards us. You want, you want some of this, really? Okay. I'll let them get closer because it'll just make it easier for me. There we go. Easy peasy. Let's see if I can, uh... I want the stomach, and I also probably want the fur. If I can get it. That, definitely, sure. Okay. And I also... Get that pelt. That zombie doesn't see me. Uh, yeah, a pelt. Cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so... What we should probably do is roll out it kind of more towards that barracks and take that out. 
Or maybe like, oh, what's this? Like a little construction zone or whatever. That was like a military barracks, but it does not appear to be the case. Um, can I get headlights on? Thank you. That should help me a great deal with navigating during the night. Uh, this is also should probably have that mini map on. I know we shouldn't be driving when we're dead tired, but I don't think we're gonna just like fall asleep on the wheel right now. And I think even if we did, the speed we're going is not gonna probably kill us. And we're a medical mutant with 121 health and pain doesn't even really seem to phase us. Unless we got ran over by the car. Wait, what? What did I see? I think that may have just been me hallucinating there. Not sure what, what that message was. Um, okay, so... Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn off these headlights. Gonna stop driving. Uh, we're going to just real quick grab some cattle mutagen because we've got the ingredients for it and it's kind of rare for us. Good, put that away. Um, just because the other ingredients are gonna go off, I'm just curious. Yeah, earth sign mutagen. Sure, make as much as it as you can. Um, I'm gonna close this. Turn that on. And then I think it's on the table, right? Yeah, cool. That put away. Sure, and the jug. And then we might even, yeah, we should make some earth science serum. I'm not gonna give it to myself or anyone because I think that I'm kind of done messing with mutagen on my own character. <laughs> um, but we do need some grenade. Grenades for these guys. Um, I'm just gonna take two of these, honestly, and then we'll just disassemble them. Where are they? Uh, here we go. Disassemble one, and then we'll do the other. And honestly, I think that should be all that I need to take out these guys. It's just two grenades, and it's easy enough to um, disassemble, you know? It's like... I feel like comparable to actually crafting <laughs> like an explosive in terms of time and you get all these other little neat crafting ingredients um let's also get a military idea because i think i have plenty of them yeah i've got a couple of them oh, do i also have i have my flashlight great yeah why don't you stay in the car you don't need to be involved in this climb over the Okay, I want to make sure I'm nice and nimble. I still have my grenades, I do. Cool. That is perfect. Okay, um... Good swipe the card. Have a little peek. Yep, there's a turret right there. So what we want to do here is let's wield one grenade. Go ahead, put that on your back. Activate and then throw right there. Close door, earplugs, cotton explosion, yeah, but not really. It says cotton explosion, but I'm not really. I just kind of like, I don't know, felt the reverberation or whatever. What's, uh, what's that over there? I think I can. Hear something. Oh, something's digging their way over. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Jane out. What are you? Giant, gigantic, naked mole rat. Hello. I think we can handle you. Oh my god, yeah, we can handle you. Now it's running away. Is it going to bleed out while it's underground? I feel like it's going to bleed out. Where are you going, friend? Okay, whatever. It looks like we should not wait here with those fungaloids there. What if I look here? 
Just want to make sure that I'm in the clear. Yeah, it looks like we're in the clear. But then there's a turret there. Turret there. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get another grenade out. I'm gonna go ahead and earplugs first this time. Activate the grenade. Throwing dead grenade right there. Uh, oop. I guess uh, we got a little hurt there. And some items got destroyed, but none of our clothing got messed up, it looks like, which is what I was going for. Cool. All right, so let's get that out. I've got, I think, my flashlight on. What have we got in here? Nothing for now. I think we might need another grenade. I think there's another turret down here. Um, there's those. Do I have any here? And there's a grenade hack. We could try one of those. Or we could disassemble it. But I, I mean, as we saw, their fungaloids have kind of invaded around here, which is super annoying. I'm just going to back the car up so we're kind of further away from that reality bubble. I know it's totally gamey, but we got to do it so the fungal leaves don't take over that entire area. Where is it? Grenade hack, yeah. I'm hearing smash. Okay, yeah, so they are kind of coming up towards us, looks like. Um, oh, uh, it looks like we got interrupted. It's so annoying. I thought we were pretty much done too. I think we're healing up. Yeah, here we go. Get that grenade. I'm actually gonna leave the car back here. Sorry, bud. Protocol against the fungaloids. And you know what? Let's get the backpack. Wear it. Sure. Let's get safe mode on. I don't want to get spotted and not be smart here. Uh, there's a card reader. Oh, I don't have a hacking tool. Right, okay, so we need another military card. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Easy enough for us to go get, though, right? Oh, hey, we're getting close to the half an hour mark. Just take a couple of them in case we need more. I don't think we do, because I think this location, from what I remember, there's another turret, which we should be able to get with, like, a grenade or possibly a bullet. And we could save the grenade, because it's really much better for, like, clearing out that other area we were just in. Okay, let's go ahead and swipe that. Open. Yep, there's a turret right there. Hostile. Close. Wait a little bit. And then, yeah, we should be able to kind of throw a flashlight out and then maybe get a pot shot on him. I turn this off. Yeah, okay, so yeah, we should be able to totally do that. Actually, can I? They can't see me when I'm in the dark like that. Oh, cool. Okay. So I'm safe. Right there. Uh, let's get this and just go auto on it. It's not going to see me. There we go. Easy enough. That was not too bad. Okay. And then let's get safe mode back on. I think that we're in the clear though, once that thing's taken care of from what I remember. 
really we have to I mean the electro hack isn't really working is the thing what is this military bunker just a, a speaker cabinet okay and a closed wooden door okay so we need to get like a crowbar or something and we're gonna need to really use those on there that's kind of ridiculous okay so we need a crowbar you got the good stuff here and we're actually you know what we what am i talking about we can walk through walls do i have enough charge um i should probably get some more charge in the system so that we can come back before we walk through the wall. I mean, we, we would be able to do it once, but we want to be able to do it twice, which is what I want to do. i just keep you guys with us for that. Where's our big old battery? Here we go. Cool. All right, you consume that, and consume that. And now we've got full energy. It's perfect. That's what we really need right now. I really love the cedium. I don't know what I would do without it. I, I feel like it's one that they are gonna remove if they haven't already. Make sure we've got... Yeah, we got our gun out and ready in case there's something behind this, but I don't think there is. Okay, turn off probability travel. Yeah, there's... This is just their medical station. Okay. Kind of let down. I mean, this is uh, an auto dock, so we could do an operation there if we needed to. But like we said, there's fungaloids right outside, so I don't think I really want to. But there's some decent stuff. Okay, now we're gonna have to wait a little bit before we do that again. Uh, can I get something to like smash these doors down? This is kind of ridiculous. Uh, let's pick up chunk of steel. I think we can use it to smash that. Or, I don't know. Smash one of these doors down. No, that, I mean, it's kind of working, but it's very inefficient. We can be a lot smarter about this. What is, what is it that I'm looking at here? I think Cooling unit, let's smash some of this up. What do I have here? Ceramic shards. That, okay. I know I should just like go up and get something. I just wanted to see if I could do it on my own. Let's not just be like wielding a piece of metal. Let's go get an actual crowbar. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, okay. Where are they? Okay, here we go. Now we should be able to get into those doors. Yeah, I'm, I'm bummed that we didn't get any CDMs from those black um, op guys because that would have been really good for us. Here we go. What have we got in here? Just like their living space. Basically. Okay. Yep. And this is like their food storage. Yeah, so we got some food here if we wanted to eat that. We could. Let me just take it. We might as well. You know? Like, not really worth, like, really taking. Okay. 
And what do we have here? We've got this gun. So I mean, if I if I didn't have any weapons, that would be pretty good. But we definitely have weapons. <laughs> and then what do we have here? Uh, this is like their actual living space. Um, an ammo satchel. Okay, so there is some military gear in here. Good to know. And then, door is locked. Oh, I need. Dandelion wine. <laughs> awesome, dude. I'm down. And then they've got this military operations map. I am going to read that when I get to the surface, I guess. Is code, I, get, I think. Give me those military operations. Let's see what's going on with these military operations in what was it, East? Like around here, is that where it's giving me maps? I feel like, yeah, I don't know. Okay, whatever. It's We're well over our 30 minute mark. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange Wolf.